So there are a few recommendations that have been noted by the government, including the positive duty to eliminate sex discrimination, harassment, victimisation. Mm. Um, it's listed here that the government doesn't want to create further complexity. It sounds like wriggle room to not go ahead with this. Well, I don't think that's a fair characterisation. What we observed um, in the Commissioner's report was that there was a lot she had to say about the fact that there was inconsistency and duplication and confusion in the law that applies in this area. So what we've decided is the best way to achieve the object that the Commissioner set out to achieve, but in a way that reduces complexity, is to focus on the workplace health and safety duties that already exist. It's already the case that an employer needs to create, do all reasonable and practical things mm. to create a safe workplace right, environment. Right, but the report says with, with the process can... in place at the moment, change is needed, right? Because this is still endemic in the report's words. Yeah, so, so if you let me finish, yeah. the, um, the way that we're going to bolster that is to make sure that employers understand um, and, and whether that's by amendment or whether that's by um, guidance or both, um, we will make sure that it is abundantly clear, uh, both in law and in practice, that the duty to keep your employees safe does and must include action on sexual harassment. A lot of talk about the gender pay gap and claims the PM um, well, wasn't across it, if you like. So what is the government's plan? What, what do you think... Is it about closing the gender pay gap altogether, getting to zero, and, and when, if so? Look, I think the government's got a good record for, at the outset on this. Um, if we look at 2018, when the, the Gillard government was running the show, the gender pay gap was pushing 18%. Uh, and we are now at a point where it's um, a little under 14%. That reflects the government's good work to improve women's workplace participation, to make sure that they are um, getting into more jobs and better jobs. And it also reflects the efforts that are being made to ensure that both parents, male or female, are contributing to the long-term um, input that's necessary to raise children. Do you have any sort of set target on the gender pay gap or not? We haven't set a... Um, a date by which the gap needs to be closed, only because but are I don't you think that you reflects the, the reality. What? Say it again, but, sorry? But are you saying that, you know, there's some debate around whether there will always be some element of a gender pay gap with more women taking a pause in their careers for children? Uh, are you saying you do want to get it to zero or, or near enough to? Look, I think we accept that there's more to do. There's... Um, more to do to make sure that gap is as closed as it can be. But rather than simply focusing on this statistic, I prefer to approach it this way. Are we giving all women a genuine choice to do what they want to do with their lives? And if a woman wants to have a career path in which no door is closed to her uh, and that she can reach the highest heights of um, her career and of leadership, um, she should have that absolutely open to her. But equally, uh, we shouldn't devalue the contribution that is made by those people, male or female, who decide to spend time at home to care for children. That is an enormous contribution to our society and one that we all benefit from. So I think the framing it more in terms of broader choice is a better and more constructive kind of measure than saying the only answer here is zero by X date. The, the way Menzies framed it is this. You would think it absurd, and it is absurd, to deny a woman an opportunity on the basis of her sex. But equally, it is an absurdity to confer an advantage because of it, simply on that basis as well. And that's what we should be working towards, genuine equality of opportunity uh, so that people can pursue whatever their version of the perfect life is, in fairness.